you know that fear like you just don't want to move because you're like afraid you're gonna up and kill yourself that's what i'm feeling right now Stop. Welcome to Walking with the Schmidt. Today we're in a different canyon, again trying to get birds for Christmas. The best of this trail is people go down there as you can see, but not that many people go down there, if you know what I mean. Like compared to the other trail, like this has a lot more brush over it, cars can't go through here, so should have less noise and there's still water back here too for the animals. We shall see if we can find some birds. Some pretty little birds to shoot. Shoot, shoot. Hey, that's a deep pool too right here. Look at how deep that is. Do I dare touch taste the water? Cause I really want to. Give it a good old test. You know, I drink the water at Big Rock Creek. If you know where that is, cause that's just mountain runoff. I don't know. I'm gonna go up a little bit more before I pull on, cause. It tastes fresh, but I just want to go a little bit farther because you know, farther you go up, the better. The more fresh the water is, less contamination there is in it. Plus, I'm drinking out so many rivers up in the mountains and stuff. I I trust water more than I trust some of the stuff we sell at the stores, you know? But let me show you this beautiful sight right here when I get up these rocks. Muddy. Well, just look at that. I don't know. There's just something about a uh, water can carve through rocks that just gives that real natural beauty. Look at that. Oh, all these years of carving this rock, or this mountain, I should say. Wasn't a big flash flood, but it was enough to push most of these cattails down. And if you want to know how to tell if this is a cattail, you look right there. That shit is a clear indication that it's a cattail. And it looks like it's called that because once they start opening up that seed pod, it looks all fuzzy and poofy. And it looks all like a cattail. Also, when these are green, you can eat the, the heart of these. So if you're like in a survival situation, and if you see these cattails, nice and green and lush, rip them out of the ground and start eating the heart. It's good, good for you. And also, the when they start opening up, or even right now when they're like that, the good fire starter too. The top, the seed pods, or whatever you would call them. But yeah, you just rip it apart, get a, one spark on it, and it goes up like gasoline. So good to know if you're in a survival situation, you can eat this and use this to start a fire with it too. So there's two uses for cattail. The more you know, right? So if you remember in my last, in my last few videos, you'll probably see that red mountain right there. Probably a lot of clay or iron in that mountain, probably clay. But hopefully we'll get closer because it seems like this. I'm going to have to go around that mountain. So... I think I'm about three miles in, four miles in, so we'll 
we'll see how long I want to go. If I want to continue to do this loop. I got all day to do it, so let's see. And hopefully I don't eat shit or twist the ankle. <sighs> That's the main thing. Not twist the ankle out here. When you're all alone. That's when you're in serious trouble is when you're twisting when you break something. So it's always good you tell people where you're going, what path they're going, how long you should you should be out. You have just thick, thick brush. For like deer and bear over here. So hopefully I don't run into one of those. I know you hear that every time, but there is a lot. Of, there is deer and bear up here. So and in the last video I saw uh, in one of the videos I did see deer. Scared the shit out of me too. So fuck this part. This is fucking thick, thick brush I'm having to go through. I don't have my machete on me. God, everything's just getting caught on you. Irritating. Oh. Well, this is where two rivers, or two seasonal rivers meet up right here. And it kind of just stops. Explains why there's such a deep pool right there. Oh, look, really nothing left. It's like sleeping out of the ground right here, pretty much. There's a, oh, a little dripping. It's creating a seasonal river right here from both of these. Ah, oh, finally. Out of that stupid thick brush. I want to get off these rocks too. Here we go. Here's the path. Oh, sweet path. Oh, I love you so. So now I definitely trust this water right here. This is all seeping out of the ground. Right there. There's no water up there. That means it's seeping out of the ground right there. This is like the freshest water you can get. Oh, that is clean water right there. There's probably more up ahead. I'll be able to get to. Water can always just drink right here. It's from the same shit. Oh, look at how clean this is. Oh, God, it's good water. Screw Fiji, just get this water. Be up in, I thought more. Say, so there's that trail right there. It's going, that's why I'm walking on, on this trail that's on this cliff. This is definitely like a backpacking trail. Oh, how you got a backpacking trail? So, me and my brother are going. Up to, uh, what is it? We were up at Twin Lakes, uh, Bishop, uh, Bridgeport, not Bishop, Bishop or Bridgeport, whatever. And we walked, what is it, 16 miles that, uh, one of those days because we went into the back canyon of Twin Lakes where, like, um, uh, what's the name of that lake? Anyways, it's like a four mile walk. You hit this other, uh, this big lake. It's really deep though, so it's hard to fish. I didn't even get one bite. Then if you walk past that and go up a whole bunch of switches and you look like you're going through Mordor and certain spots because you're just walking on giant boulders. But the whole way up there, everybody, I mean everybody, was giving us weird looks, dirty looks, like they didn't even want to talk to us. Like, it's crazy. Just because we're wearing gym shorts and shirts and i brought my tackle pot uh box and my fishing pole and my brother just brought his little 
backpacking his fishing pole and we were just going on a mission and because of everybody giving us those dirty looks and questioning us and stuff like that just gave us the motivation to keep going but at the end of it me and my brother like just let it end let this be over like it felt like forever the last mile the last mile did not want to end on that hiking trip but the fish i got out there oh my god were beautiful i got beautiful um uh, what is it browns up there the browns uh, I'll, I'll put a picture and post right here what i caught up in those mountains but we were the only ones fishing in those mountains and those fish were hungry like they didn't they didn't go after our salmon eggs they went after our weight like the little steel or little ball weights you put on stream fishing and stuff if you know what i'm talking about i forget the name of them but they were going after that not the salmon eggs so i'm like okay me and my brother changed to like a silver lure oh my god we're uh silver and blue that's the color we had and we were just getting them like hot cakes i think my brother he had the best lure to get them but my brother he uh what is it he got five and i got three three or four and that little it was i'll show you the picture of the the lake i mean uh, pond lake whatever you want to call it as well and we were deep in those mountains like deep deep like damn this would be a good spot for a shelter look at this oh yeah look at the perfect spot for a shelter you rip out those agaves put some branches up you make a fire right there yeah look you get rid of these agaves put some branches right here make a nice cover could put the fire right there so the smoke's going out but going in there for the heat and then that way it's well you kind of don't want it in under the rock because that's how the rock can crack and then fall on top of you but also just look at how smooth this looks right here this, this sandstone I'm just saying, this would be definitely a good shelter in a survival situation. Yeah, this is just cool how the rocks form like this. Yeah, how did it form like that? It's almost like it was... I don't know. It's hard to explain how it's like forming like this like with these it's almost like it was flat the water carved it and now it's like got lifted up i know that's not how it happened but it's just cool how like you see this you know, the best part is too you know what you know what you know what you don't see up here either that i really hate Oh, you see embers. Um, oh, yeah. See, someone had the same idea as me. Look at that. Fire right here. Let's see what type of cans these are. Oh, that's my head. I'm a bit old cans. Homeless guy or someone had the same idea as me. Good spot right here, too. Not too much into the cave, but enough for it to bounce into the cave with the heat. We've got animal tracks now. What? Oh, it looks like bird. Something right there. You got all that over there. Surprised there's no animals over here. Got a perfect cover for them. Uh, yeah, imagine 
there was a mountain lion that I was just exploring. And things like, oh, I'm about to eat your ass. God, it's just amazing what what it can do with the rain and erosion. Whenever something else cool happens. One thing is I hate being in the middle of nowhere though. Me and this thick of brush that's over in my head. Oh, oh here we go. A little thin spot. At least this part's not on the cliff anymore. I'm happy about that. Now look at that mountain. God, I just can't keep my eyes off of it. I know you guys are probably annoyed, but I just love that contrast it gives to this terrain. It's basically like a beacon, almost. I bet you that was probably a sacred mountain back in the day. You know what? I think the switchback is for me to climb this hill on the backside. Of this hill coming up on this hill. Not this one, but this one. You see that? There's probably a switchback that I'm going to be climbing over it and then back into another valley. So let's go see how fun that's going to be. One thing is, I like this meadow. It would be cool to see it when it's nice and green starting to get there oh someone had a fire here another fire old though plants are growing in it this is from probably last year uh, you see this this is like perfect area for quail and there's nothing not even little birds like all their favorite type of bushes to eat the seeds and stuff. That's why I've been told these bushes will eat anything seeds. These guys produce seeds too and there's no birds here. Nothing. So. Oh well. Just continue walking. Hopefully I'll see some birds. This is the path or where the water went through at this point. I have to check my map here soon. No, it's a trail. I see all the broken branches. Hey, you see it? Like nothing. There's absolutely nothing. The bird should be taking off by now, but there was some. Well, there's nothing. Yeah, well, I need to check my map. I don't like this. But they need to update this map a little bit because, well, just for the valley, they need to update it down there. Up here, it's, it's up to date. Let's get on the other side of this mountain. I don't know why, but right here is giving me the heebie-jeebies that I mentioned. I'm scared of heights. And I'm on this shitty trail on this cliff. And I just don't want to move, really. You know that fear, like, you just don't want to move because you're, like, afraid you're going to fuck up and kill yourself? That's what I'm feeling right now. I hate this right now. I was not expecting this. I was afraid that the trail was going to be like this. <sighs> The faster I get down, the faster I don't have to deal with this. Oh, water, water, water. I get parasites, I get parasites. I don't care. One thing is, 
It's beautiful back here. Look at that. But what at first. Build a well. This will be safe. It is a little bit browner over here. Browner hue to it. But let me just explore this camping real quick. Deepish too. Coming out of the rocks. Oh, this would be a perfect spot if you had like a water bottle. Just to set it up right there to gain all that water. Or like on this root, you see all that water coming off that root? This is like the cleanest water you can get right here. If I die, I die. At least I died doing something I love. Oh. Only thing is, this river does taste dirtier. It has a lot more dirt and stuff in it. And the well's gonna take too long to settle. So, one more mouthful, and let's go. Now I'm gonna have to chug some good ass water, cause this water, I'm not sure about. Who is this phone? A little bit of water. Just that little bit does help though. God. Oh. Oh, that was a pain to do walking up that hill. Walking up and down. Oh. Oh. And I'm still almost going to kill myself. Oh. Look at that guy, nice and plump and fat. Just kind of felt. <sighs> so this trip wasn't a complete bust or a complete waste, because I got one bird. Just one, I could chase them down, but I'm tired. I'm lucky I even got one. But I am, I'm ready to gut this bird and then go to take a nap. I walked probably 14 miles in total today. I'm tired. At least I got myself a nice fat male. <laughs>